Cardinals tonight. We've got Columbus Crew head coach Caleb Porter after his 100th regular season win. Caleb, would you like to start us off with your thoughts on the match? Yeah, we, we had a simple mindset coming in the game to win the next game. And, um, you know, I think the guys were very professional in their performance, how they executed. And it, it started with the work rate um, that they had. And, and, you know, I think, listen, when you have a group of 11 guys that roll their sleeves up and work and fight and um, are organized, um, play hard, play smart, play together, um, you know, good things happen. And it's one of our strongest lineups we've had in a long time. I think that showed, you know, when we get that, you know, game model going the way we want it to go, it's pretty hard to stop. And I think you saw that with the four goals, the clean sheet, the, the pressing, the possessing, um, the tempo, um, it was all clicking today. So we'll be very businesslike. We'll keep our highs low. You know, it's a it's a great moment. It's a good win. But uh, you know, we have four games in the next 13 ga days. I think it is. So uh, we need to recover tomorrow and then prep again for Nashville and file this one away. And we'll take the next one as it comes, one at a time, and throw everything into that game. And I'm looking for the same performance in the next game. Caleb, just to get this off of two weeks of training, Philly, just did this give you or tell you that the mentality is, is where it should be for this team in these final six games here? Yeah, I think, you know, if people are wondering what was different today, I think we had our top group. That's the key. Um, we had a lot of time to prep. You know, so when you have time to prep, we tend to execute pretty well. And I think that was the key, you know, and uh, we went, went with the four two three one um, because we had you know a group that could execute it really well, and we had our outside backs that joined in the attack. We had wingers who were threatening. It's great to get um, Pedro, um, you know, with a couple goals and assists, and um, Jossi continuing to score. And actually, Lucas didn't get a goal, but I thought it was one of his best games in terms of work rate today. And I, and I told him that in front of the whole, entire team. Um, you know, and, and when he works like that, our whole team plays better. And uh, he was a real key today. Um, everybody, we got good performances across the board, but we need it again in three days. And there were, I think I counted four or five really good chances in the first half, but the buildup was much better in the second half. Yeah. Was that just a matter of guys being unselfish, making the extra pass, or what, what did you see in yeah, the second we, half? Yeah, we made a couple adjustments in our rotation. First half, there were a couple times where, where as we're circulating the ball, we'd get stuck on one side, and um, you know we made an adjustment to seesaw our, our holding mids, Marley and D, and then pull our winger low, and you saw that that pattern allowed us to move up the field a lot easier. Um, you know, into D, off to Marley, into Pedro, um, and we're out. You know, and but we're just a little cleaner, quicker, and. You know, we, we played uh, in a ruthless way today. You know, we, we showed that killer instinct. You know, there's been, been a few games, obviously, we've been up, up in games, but we let a team hang around, and we went for the jugular today, and I think that's a trademark, you know, of, of you know, this team and this club. Um, and it's great to see that. Well, it doesn't get any easier, but guys will be um, confident. We score four goals, we get a clean sheet, very comprehensive performance and you saw this group's hungry to make the playoffs so uh, we're going to not get ahead of ourselves um, we're not going to play the next five games we're going to play the next game you know, we know we have a very d difficult game against Nashville um, so you know we, we'll control what we can control and that's winning the next game is there anything that stood out to you today obviously like you said you've got great performances that we haven't seen maybe in a while from a lot of key players at the same time. Was there anything that stood out today that you're like, we got to fix this before Nashville? Um, yeah, there's always a lot of things that I'm, you know, with my coaching hat on, going to look at and, and fix. Um, I'm still thinking the final third, we should have scored more goals. I know that's crazy because we had four goals, but um, I don't know what the analytics said. I haven't looked at it yet, but it felt like we were in the best positions we've been in all season long. 
we still, I think, miss some opportunities to get that final pass, that final ball right. But I, you know, I really think the the wingers and the outside backs were key today. You know how they played, their work rate, their defending, but also just that um, chemistry in the two v two. And I thought Derek and you know and Stephen really played well. Uh, sorry, Pedro and Stephen really played well together, and I, I thought Milton and um, Derek played really well together. And, and I, you saw we played both inverted, where they could come in on their strong foot, shoot and slip, and then we we had outside backs getting around them, who could provide that width and service. And um, we've been saying it all year. I mean, we know we know what we want to do, but you know you need personnel to do it, and we just haven't been able to to kind of execute it as well because we just haven't had the right personnel every game available. So, you know, that's the main thing. You know, the, 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 you know, the 100 wins and all that, guess what, I don't win any of those win without good players, you know, and a good staff. It's, it's that simple. Um, I'm very fortunate to, to be in two excellent clubs with very good players. And, you know, I'm proud of the fact that I won a trophy in both those clubs. But I do this for the players. It's all about them, and um, I'm a, a good coach with good players, and I'm a bad coach with bad players. <laughs> it's that simple. Jacob, <laughs> when you're talking about being ruthless, is it just quicker? Like like you said, was a big point of emphasis this week, and it seemed like there was more urgency to kind of get forward as well. I mean, just how important are kind of those two things? I think it's a personnel, honestly. It's a personnel. It's, you know, you know it, it, I'm not trying to overstate it, but yeah. some of the strongest lines we've had in quite some time, mm. you know. So that's that's the real key. And then I think, again, we have two weeks to train, and I always like our chances when we're able to train. Um, the intensity of training was excellent. The competition, just the things we worked on showed up. Worked a lot, speed of play, a lot of combination play, um, you know, a lot in the final third. Um, look, worked a lot defensively as well in our pressing, and I think you saw that. We were very organized in our pressing today. I thought it was one of our best pressing games. They had a real hard time breaking us, and you know, I think in tr in transition, press counter, that type of style, that verticality, and, and the tempo, um, you know, the the fast football that we want to play, I think showed up today. And when Darlington gets forward like he did in that first half, make, makes that pass to Pedro, just how much of a difference do you see in the attack when he's able to get in attacking positions, get forward? Yeah, again, I think we just play with a high tempo. We yeah. played um, vertical. And, you know, we accelerated at the right moments. And, um, you know, it's been a point of emphasis. I mean, there have been some games we haven't done that, but I think a lot of it, too, is just, again, execution and personnel and, and training. Thank you, Caleb. Appreciate it. Thanks, Caleb. Thanks, Caleb.